Hey everybody, Ben here for the Burnout Podcast, and welcome to Star Player Spotlight. We are looking at every star player in Blood Bowl 2020, whether it's Rulebook, Spike Magazine, or straight to the website. Now, we've got three very cool new star players landing with Spike 15, the Amazon release, and this one is a super interesting one. It is the first Snake Man we've seen in Blood Bowl since art or that chaos dude anyway today we're going to be looking at boa constrictor Okay, so Boa Constrictor comes with the Lustrian Super League tag. So if you're a Lizardman coach, an Amazon coach, maybe a new Amazon coach just picking up the team, or a advanced veteran, elite, next level Blood Bowl player, and you're running the Slan team from the NAF uh, website, then this player may be interesting to you. So Amazon's Lizardman and Slan can run Boa Constrictor. Let's see what he does. Okay, so Boa Constrictor comes in at 200k. I think we guessed around about that, maybe a little bit lower, because I think we were a little bit optimistic for these star players to be really cool and really usable. So um, Boa Constrictor plays for the last year in Super League. He is movement 6, strength 3, edge 3+, plus, passing 4+, plus, and armor 9+. plus. He is, in fact, armor 9+. plus. Let me just double-check that, because that seems uh, not massively good, but just not terrible for Amazons. Uh, Estelle is armor 8+, plus, and this guy... Yeah, this guy is, okay, armor 9+. plus. Okay, so that stat line is basically a line woman from Amazons with a little bit more armor. And uh, we're paying 200k. Let's check out the skills. Dodge seems standard for this team anyway right okay hypno gaze this is where it starts to get interesting so the whole point of this guy is that he is a snake man if you have watched the child's cartoon the jungle book the snake does the eyes thing right and the snakes distract that's where hypnotic gaze comes in so this snake has got the ability to move into your tackle zone roll a dice and take away your tackle zone so this can be really effective and this can make him a really useful supportive player he can pop anywhere he likes if he's successful with the hypno gaze roll then you've then got a really good angle into the cage now if you're running in with lizards you've got sauruses if you're running in with amazons you've got a blocker and if you're running them with slan you've got a croxagore there's always a really good opportunity and there's always a really good player there to blitz the ball carrier if you can get through the cage and that hypno gaze is going to allow you to do that without using your blitz angle loan of four plus is exactly what you expect from a star player um, and dodge is going to be useful for when he gets punched in the face the next turn after hypno gaze prehensile tail again thematically makes a lot of sense but it is a really useful skill if you're going up against stunty players or elves anybody who thinks they can get away with it for free all of the time pht just jumps in there and makes them more honest okay that minus one Two plus to three plus is not automatic. Three plus to four plus is never going to work. Okay, so it's that that vibe of that psychological warfare, which makes sense given that this guy kind of plays with your mind. Safe pair of hands means that when he gets splatted, he gets to choose where the ball goes next to him instead of it scattering from him. So again, that's going to be really useful. And it's going to be really useful when we look at his special power in the second and sidestep as well. So we've got a dodge step hypno gaze piece with pht and safe pair of hands 200k we've got no offensive skills here what we have got is an aggravating position piece for 200k at the moment i'm thinking cool model not massively sold in fact i got my guy from fanath and i'm using him as the dark elf in my chaos renegades team this is a very cool model may be worth doing but there is a very cool special skill for this guy so look into my eyes which was revealed on the warhammer community uh, once per game if boa starts his activation marking an opposition player with the ball so once per game if boa starts his turn next door to the ball carrier not the start of the turn just his activation so if you can get a chain push if you can push the ball carrier to boa constrictor this can activate uh, marking an opposition player with the ball he may roll a d6 on a one nothing happens on a two plus the opposition player loses possession of the ball boa immediately gains possession of the ball and boa's activation immediately ends so this is where this star player gets really interesting movement six edge three plus medium mobility right 
sidestep and dodge means he's going to be well, sidestep dodge and pht means he's going to be really aggravating when he gets in a place now strength three with no skills although dodge is going to keep him standing uh maybe all right but really what you're trying to do is once per game use this guy to just two plus steal the ball now i know what you're thinking you're thinking once he's got the ball he's going to get punched in the head yeah he's got dodge and sidestep which is massively going to benefit you because if he does go down and he might not because he's got dodge and he's strength three your opponent's likely to be able to swing a one or two die block if they don't have tackle he might be all right but safe pair of hands is going to save you if it does go wrong. With sidestep, you position him back next door to one or two of your players, and then you use safe pair of hands to place the ball down into some tackle zones. So Boa Constrictor is not a basic star player. This is not point and click. I'm going to upset all the Griff fans out there and potentially all the Hackflem fans out there where they're point and click, right? Griff, kill that guy. Hackflem, score that game. This guy's techers. This is technology for your Blood Bowl team. And I find it really interesting. This is not automatic. Nothing about this is automatic. And you can still roll a one and it will still fail. At 200k, dodge, hypno gaze, prehensile tail, safe pair of hands, sidestep. Dodge step piece is not brilliant. For 200k, you can take basically some really good players. You can get Carla. You can get uh, Zug. They're in that kind of 200, 220, 210 price range. Or you take this guy, and really what you're trying to do is just pop that feet. Use that look into my eyes ability to 2 plus steal the ball. It's going to take a lot of work, but it is going to be awesome when you pull it off. And I'm expecting to see him in a couple of tournaments. I'm not expecting him to be brilliant, but I am expecting him to catch people off guard. And when it's going to work, it is going to turn a 2-1 grind or a 1-all draw into a 2-0 thrashing. And that's pretty great. The downside is that 200k is a huge amount of cost. In a tournament, in a league, you're going to get free rolled some cash. I don't know if he's better than a wizard, and I don't know if he's better than Carla or Zug. But that cheeky 2-plus steal the ball ability as a Skaven coach makes me very interested. Uh, and I really love it. It's a cool model as well, but we've got an alternative. Let's have a look and see what you can use to run Boa Constrictor on the pitch. And first up, of course, it is the Boa Constrictor model from Games Workshop. And this one comes in, I think, at £23, £21. I don't know. I bought it and I cannot remember how much it cost. I don't know. About £20-something pounds from Forge World. And it's a great model. This is one of the most interesting sculpts they've done in a while. It's got a ton of the Amazon gear. Okay, you've got the same kind of um, wraparound beach towel effect. You've got the same kind of armor. They've done a great job with the paint scheme. But just stylistically and from a sculpting point of view, it's a really fun and cool model. They've done a really good job recently of star players. And Boa Constrictor very much carries on that trend. However, if Games Workshop is, or Forge World is difficult for you to get a hold of, or you just fancy doing something slightly different, then we've got two alternatives for you. The first one is Azar the Mesmerist. Now, this is Grebo Games, and Grebo Games have been absolutely Johnny on the spot getting these models ready to go. Uh, this is $14.99 in the Euro money, and it's available right now to buy. So it is a bit cheaper than Forge World, and with Grebo's delivery, it will be there almost immediately. And it's a really fun sculpt the way they do their painting of it, it it looks kind of busy i guess but it is a really fun and well put together model we've got it on route we'll do an unboxing as soon as it arrives i really like this model it's just it does all the stuff and in fact i wouldn't hate running two of them as blockers for the amazon team because it is just that kind of dynamic you got the ball you've got great armor you've got an absolute filth amount of snake vibe on there and those scales if you are one of those people who individually highlights your scales this is going to be horrific for you. Now, we do have one slightly cheaper alternative as well. And that model is the Shaman Snake from Fanath Miniatures. So Fanath dropped this about three days after the Amazon preview. I was uh, in Italy and they this model just kind of popped up on the Thursday after they'd showed off the games workshop model on the monday i ordered it immediately and when i flew back it was there for me i think the following monday or something so fanath games do a brilliant job 
it's a really cool sculpt. In fact, like I said, I'm using it for my um, Dark Elf in my Renegades team because they are the Shombad Serpents. So it makes a lot of sense. You've got a lot of agility. This guy is appropriately sized for a Strength 3 Armor 9 Plus piece. He's got all the details you'd expect. You've got the kind of Aztec, Mayan, one of the two. I don't want to be um, Mel Gibsoning all over the place. Uh, you know, it's got all the stuff that you would expect. It's eight euros as well. And also you can pick up the STL for I think three euros 50. So if you've got a 3D printer, this guy could be on your plate and in your hand in the next few hours if you haven't seen it and bought it already. Really cool model and a really good alternative. Okay, so Boa Constrictor coming in at 200K is probably going to price him out of being one of the top star players in Blood Bowl. But because he is so cool, both in theme and miniature, I think you're going to see him regularly. That 200k does price him out when you've got some great alternatives. Like I said, Carla and Zog do a lot of stuff. But Boa Constrictor is going to help put together some really frustrating wins against your opponents and when you can pull it off it's going to be brilliant so i would probably put boa in the same camp as scroll okay not um optimal but actually you've got a cool angle here a cool star player who's going to allow you to do a lot of different things and he's going to help support your team winning now when it comes to league he will be able to just kind of support you with one additional touchdown to your team so if you think about griff griff scores the touchdowns hack Flem scores the touchdowns they get the spp their star players that spp goes away because of the way he operates i think you're likely to be getting the ball back onto your teammates and in a in in, in, a, in a league that's a pretty good thing to do because you want to get that spp in anyway boa constrictor theme win rules interesting price a little bit too high to be ubiquitous but given the way star players have landed in blood bowl 2020 that's probably not bad he is absolutely usable but it's not the worst thing in the world if you choose somebody else cool model cool idea love it let me know what you think about boa constrictor in the comments and we'll be back very soon with more blood bowl content happy slithering around Thanks very much for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you want to support the channel even further, please like and subscribe. It really does help us out. Or come join us on YouTube members or in Patreon, where you can get exclusive access to some content, some loot, early access to basically everything we do, as well as regular competitions. Or you can pick up some Bonehead Podcast loot either on our website at boneheadpodcast.com. We've got the Dungeon Bowl things. We've got tokens and stuff like that. Or on our Spreadshirt site as well. Everything you do just helps us make more content and hopefully do it of better quality. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Happy blocking.